special election in Ohio is just five days away now, and early voting is still going on. It is going on right now. WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian, in fact, live in Claremont County. Anna, were they busy there at the Board of Elections today? Well, Craig, Tanya, election officials say with this election, they, you know, prepared for a lot of voters, but they weren't really sure what to expect because there's just one thing on the ballot. But you won't see it right now. There's no one in the room with me now, but election officials say they've been seeing hundreds of voters a day for early voting. Are you here to vote? While it may be busy, it wasn't taking these voters long to cast their ballot. Super easy, like we were in two minutes. What brought them here? issue one. It would make it harder to change the state constitution and it would change the way petitions for proposed constitutional amendments work. I personally think that uh, uh, the status quo, how it was, uh, uh, it was really important to keep it that way. I feel like, uh, you know, in order to change something that is the foundation of our government, we should have more of a requirement to be able to do that. On different sides of the issue, many of these voters I talked to Thursday have something in common. They think no matter how you vote, it's important to vote. Somebody died for me to vote, so yeah, I feel like it's my responsibility. For the whole election, we're seeing an increased number of in-person voting. Many people were at the polls last August, too, but having a statewide special election in August is rare. There really isn't an election to compare to. So when election officials talk about an increased number of voters, it's all relative. In Warren County, Board of Elections data shows they've almost matched the number of votes cast during last year's August primary. About 15,000 people have voted in this election so far. Roughly 15,600 people voted total in last year's August election, both early and on election day. But if you look at last year's general election, Board of Elections data shows more than 41,000 people voted early. Early voting has been so busy. In Claremont County, election officials were surprised by the number of people they're seeing for early voting. We've been running around 600 people a day here in the early voting room. Um, compared to last year, that's been the numbers have jumped. We were maybe doing 100 a day. And for some of those who voted today, they hope you do the same. They've got it down to a science in there. So I encourage everybody to go out and vote no matter what your vote is. Go vote. And a reminder that new voter ID law is in effect. So make sure you bring your driver's license or another form of valid ID with you when you go to vote. At the Claremont County Board of Elections, Anna Azalian, WCPO 9 News. Good.